Right. I don't even know how to start this. Three, two, one. Hey everyone, welcome. My name is Aide and this is a little glimpse of Aide's life. Um, and let's just say that I've been gone for very good reasons and it's a lot going on, but I'm gonna update you guys real quick on what's been going on and hopefully get a little bit of cleaning going on in the video. So if you don't know me, I'm Aide. I am a mom, a wife, a business owner, and I love doing lifestyle type of videos where I kind of show you guys my everyday life um, as a woman of faith and how I give God glory through serving my family and through my business and whatever else I have going on. Let's start with why I've been gone. Your girl's pregnant. I am super pregnant. I have about 10 to 11 weeks to go, somewhere around there. So I am super pregnant, woo! So my name is Jazz. I will be inserting a quick video of me finding out I was pregnant. A little backstory, I was not ready to find out that I was pregnant. My husband and I had literally just spoken a week before I took that test and came in agreement that we were not gonna be getting pregnant for a couple more years um, because we had just moved into our house and we just wanted to get adjusted to living into the house and we were just not trying to get pregnant right away, but God had other plans and it's okay because God had already spoken to us that we were gonna get pregnant, but we didn't realize how quick it was gonna be. Got the pregnancy test. Very nervous, okay. But it's already marking negative. Okay, and it may stay negative, okay? We got more tests if we need to. I figured. Oh my God. No. Okay, I can't look at this test. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, I need to stop staring. Oh my God, hold on. Bro, I'm not tripping, right? I'm gonna take another one tomorrow. And I will also insert a video of me finding out what I'm having. I'm so excited. Um, I'm finally getting to the nesting ne stage of pregnancy. So a lot of videos of me getting stuff ready for baby girl is gonna be happening. First trimester sucked. I'm just gonna be honest. Fine, right after I found out I was pregnant, I got so sick. I was nauseous every day. I couldn't eat. I couldn't cook. And you guys see, I love cooking in my videos and I really love posting content like that, but it was so hard because I could not cook and I didn't have the energy. I would literally fall asleep in the middle of the day. Like it was just, and then I got COVID on top of that. It was just, it was a mess. Even though I was going through all of that, the baby was fine. And then second trimester, I finally felt like I was getting my life together. My focus was on getting my life together at home because I hadn't done anything the first trimester. 
so cleaning was not a priority and like all this other stuff and so second trimester was me getting my life together third trimester we're in it now we're good we're like all right we gotta get organized because baby girl's coming and we need to have some type of structure going on so that we can make transition easier for the other two kids um can we just say nobody tells you that having two toddlers and being pregnant is a lot of work I was not ready for that I was not ready but it's been great my daughter is excited my son doesn't really understand yet what's going on but we're excited I'm I'm at the point where I'm really excited now but I am nervous to have another baby I will be transparent and super honest with you guys um, God knows his plans he knows what he's doing and I'm not gonna question them um, but I have been very transparent with God and I'm like God I'm terrified because I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this but Amen. So we're gonna do this, but I'm really, really nervous. So quick thing, I launched my lash line, okay? So if you didn't know, I have a cosmetics line. And so far I had only launched um, liquid lipsticks and one lip gloss, which I'm wearing today. It's called Glory. And I launched my lashes. The collection is Woman of Faith. And today I have Sila on, I don't know if you can see her, but it is named after a beautiful baby girl that has truly inspired me and I am so excited so make sure you go check that out it's idacosmetics.com and you can go take a look purchase some lashes or purchase a lipstick because I still have a couple lipsticks left and I am so excited so yeah um let's go ahead and get started with this video all right so I am using a different tripod I don't normally use this one but it is a new one that my husband blessed me with so we're gonna be using this big old thing but um you're gonna see this in the background i have it laying out because it is a sensory it's like a type of stimulating game activity that's what it is an activity for your kids super easy i'm gonna share it with you guys real quick it is literally just water and cups that's it and I put a rag down so I wouldn't get so messy over there. But the kids are upstairs right now taking a nap, supposedly. I don't know. We'll see in a second. And um, what they do is they just pour, grab water, pour it into the other cup, pour it in the bucket. It doesn't really matter. It's just a sensory thing. And it keeps them busy for about a good 15 to 20 minutes. Um, so I have a laying out just in case my son uh, needs something to do or my daughter. But... My daughter's at the stage where she gets entertained by Barbie dolls, so I don't really have to do that much sensory with her, but with my son, I kind of have to start. Um, I do have to do dishes, and um, what else do we have going on? Oh, we gotta organize this mess in here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but yeah. We went on grocery shopping yesterday, so we did not take the stuff out that was old we just kind of shoved the groceries in and we're like we'll figure it out tomorrow so we gotta take care of that i do want to do the pantry but i'm not going to worry about the pantry today not my mission today but it oh, over here it is kind of messy in there but we're not going to stress about it we're going to do one thing at a time um so i think i'm going to start with the dishes first because it's a pretty easy task and if I have to take something out of the fridge, then I can just put it in there and things will flow nicer if that makes sense.
I wanted to show you guys something cool that I <clears throat> don't use every day, but I use I use it when I drink coffee. If you're a coffee drinker and you have a favorite coffee that is not available in a K cup, I bought these reusable K cups from Myers, but they are available on Amazon. The reason why is I cannot find my favorite coffee in K cup form, so. I just refill it every single time I use it, use it in my Keurig, and it works amazing. And I get to drink my favorite coffee still. Oh, I a pan. Take there. So now that we're done with dishes, let's go ahead and tackle this fridge. organizing the two tasks that I wanted to do which is wash the dishes <clears throat> clean out the fridge it looks beautiful it's all clean out I condiments is just a thing that I don't just take out what I'm not gonna use and whatever but as long as this area is clean and organized I'm fine there's purpose for everything everything in there I'm gonna be using this week because um, I did let me show you guys real quick so i did this i put in there what we needed what we're gonna eat this week i used to do this but i promise you guys in the first trimester everything kind of went to poop because everything was going on um yeah super excited so that's all I have for you guys today. Make sure you guys tune in every single Wednesday. Make sure you guys follow me on social media um, to just kind of keep up with my stories and kind of random stuff that I post. Um, and you can do that following me at Ida um, Irving on Instagram, on Facebook. You can add me. Um, what else? Oh, make sure you go check out idacosmetics.com. Check out our new products, um, our lashes, okay? And yeah, I'm really excited. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure you also subscribe to The One TV on YouTube. You can also check us out on the one.tv and tune into any of the other shows if you've missed any of my other shows. And just to keep up with what's going on and stuff like that. But um, yeah, I love you guys. I thank you guys so much for tuning in. And I will see you guys next time.